So you can see an ample button has been cast. So volumetrically, the calculation for brown is working and it's still hot enough for auto ignition. So once that cools down, we'll quench it. Okay, so we're ready to quench our part. We have our nylon brush, our toothbrush, and our butter knife to clean out our flask. And our flask is now a dull black. So we're gonna quench it under the water sideways fully to make sure that that water or that plaster violently erupts in a pyroclastic cloud of debris, but we don't wanna breathe any of that. So it must go all the way under. And this will boil the plaster out of your part, saving you a whole bunch of time chipping through the plaster to get to your final part. So once the boiling stops, then you'll be able to go in with your final uh, pieces, your butter knife, to pry it loose. So we'll just reach in, and there is our cast part. We're gonna set that aside. Grab our flask and use the butter knife to scrape out any remaining plaster. Turn it around, scrape out the other side, rinse off your knife, wipe it on the edge of the bucket, and then use the nylon brush to scrub off any remaining debris from the interior before you grab your part. Okay, so there's our clean flask. And then we have our printed part. You can scrub that with the nylon brush and then when you get most of the details out, you can switch to the toothbrush. And each time I'm dipping to make sure any excess plaster that may be floating around comes out and allows more access to surface details. So it's a dip and a swishing motion to get most of that remaining plaster out very quickly without a lot of work. And then for really high details, it's good to come back with a small needle tool or a dental pick if you have one to make sure that all these subtleties in the printed part get cleared. So I'm going to switch to time-lapse for that, and we'll do the rest. 